our God is our empowering Father. Luke 12 and verse 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Another important aspect about God as our Heavenly Father is that He is our empowering Father. That means He empowers us. He is our Heavenly Father who has good thoughts about us, good plans for us, and He is willing to trust us with what is His. He empowers us. He gives into our lives with what He has. As Jesus said here in Luke 12, 32, it's a Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. He wants us and He's called us to be heirs of His kingdom and joint heirs with His Son, Jesus Christ. You know, not many earthly fathers would be willing to do that. Some may, but many may not. They're not willing to entrust us with what is theirs, but God empowers us. He has great plans for us. He sees the future that He can take us into and what we can become. And then He empowers us. He gives us of His kingdom. He releases that into our own lives. He is our empowering Heavenly Father. We look to Him because He's more than willing to give into our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for being our Heavenly Father, for all that you are to us, our unchanging Father, unfailing Father, our Father who accepts and understands us, a Father of mercy and grace, a Father who empowers us, a Father who, Lord, who does mighty things in our lives. We thank you for being our Heavenly Father. And we receive, God, of what you give to us, of what you empower us with. Thank you that you've called us to be heirs of your kingdom and joint heirs with your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for being our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.